Rabbi Belsky, Zeichet Tzadok Levrocha, represented Torah in its broader sense. He was a person who had an influence on his Talmidim and the people in the greater Torah world. Rapam was an example of a Yid who lived with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. His Talmud Chacham Shaf was blended together with his Midas and he was an Odom HaSholem. Mimele had a tremendous influence on all the Talmidim Befrat and on the Klal. Baruch Hashem, in the past few years, we had the schus of being part of developing the Beis Medrish, which is a direct continuation of what's been in the yeshiva for uh, over a hundred years. Beis Chaim Yisrael is a place of Asmada, Limud, and Yediya Satayra. Exactly what Rabelsky represented. I learned in Vialpo, then I learned in Rab David and Eretz Yisrael. I'm here for a year and a half. You come into the yeshiva, there's a certain ruach in this matter of togetherness. I went to Haitzua, I went in Bursk. I was married in Lakewood for a year, then I moved back here. Tervedas is a very warm yeshiva. It's an opportunity to be around a lot of very chosh of people. The energy, the bikush, the purity of the Bachram and the Yingalite, and the level of the learning of the Bismedrish is what really is the marquee of the yeshiva. And it's a testament to the Rosh Hashiva of Lichtenstein Shlita. We put a strong dogesh on Limud that the Bachim should focus on understanding the Gemara with the Rishonim. They should be able to grow in Limud HaToyra and in Yer Shemayim and Midas Toivis. Whether that's through the Vadim, whether that's through the Chaburas, through the Chaburas that the guys give, there's just this overall commitment to understanding the Sugya, to growing as B'nai Toira and striving to become greater. The Ruach of the Yeshiva as a whole, it's filled with Menucha and Geshmak, and just Mesikas HaTayra, Mesikas HaChayim, and Geshmak in Yiddishkeit, and Geshmak in Avayt Hashem. It's unbelievable how you walk in there and you hear the Kol Taira and the handling and learning. It's just so geschmack. You just want to come and sit down and learn. We have different Chaburis. We have post Eretz Yisrael. There's Bachim that are before Eretz Yisrael. We have a Koil. Even though each one is its own Chalik of the Yeshiva, but everyone learns together, steigs from each other. It feels like one big base marriage. Everyone's all, all together in it. It brings tremendous energy. Now that we're dedicating the Bismedrish as the Hegel in the name of Rav Palm, and the Bismedrish in the name of Rav Yisrael Belsky Zatzal, that is going to transfer and transmit them into the atmosphere of the Bismedrish. Look back at the role models that they were, and should be zoiche to steig from continuing the Mesoiris and the, the Ruach HaToyra and the Godless B'Toyra that they brought into the yeshiva. The Akarsa type that all of us have to the donors who have come forward again and again, but especially tonight, to help keep the yeshiva thriving. Responding in this new endeavor, Beis Chaim Yisrael, responding to making dedications in Heichel Avram Yaakov, is a chizik to the yeshiva, it's a chizik to the Rashi yeshiva, and a chizik to the Bachrim and the Yungalite. It has helped build the Maisid further in the Mesifta, in the Beis Medrash, and in Kailu Nachlastavit.